Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution, where we create the ultimate dinosaur park with all your dinosaurs with your name since I'm just going through your comments and you guys are making so many suggestions so I'm just gonna use that as the lead of this whole series so keep coming with all your dinosaur suggestions and all your name suggestions names for the shops I do have a few names but I will get to that back later and um, yeah it's it's gonna be so much fun I really like doing this with you guys so it's really gonna be a Jurassic World Evolution community park as we can call it right <laughs> okay so let's just go and name some more dinosaurs because you guys gave me a few names for the myosaura for the brachiosaurus for the gallimimus and we're gonna add some new dinosaurs in this episode and uh, we're definitely going to add a t-rex in this episode so it's gonna be lots of fun lots of work to do so let's start with the naming of the dinosaurs we're gonna start with a myasaura and we're gonna call this myasaura uh, we're gonna call this madre and that one is suggested by kane kane you had so many suggestions <laughs> But I will probably pick sometimes one or two of the same persons. Like, I'm not gonna pay too much attention to that. But I'm not gonna name like 10 dinosaurs to it. It was really hilarious to see your comments. Like, oh yeah, I had this suggestion and this suggestion and this suggestion and this suggestion. <laughs> and that's not the only one. Not only Kane did that, but it's, well, it was really funny too. Keep trying, keep trying. Maybe I will just pick them anyways. But <laughs> I'm gonna try at least one name of one person in an episode so I'm not gonna name like 10 dinosaurs from one person um okay we have candy right over here and we're gonna add where are the others okay so we have another mysore right over here now someone mentioned like you should call the white one snow white now wasn't that the white one which we already called candy. We had a brown one, which I really feel like I want to call chocolate. <laughs> but I don't really see any other white ones, so I am afraid that we can't call that one Snow White. I'm so sorry, Susanna, because we already need that one candy. But we're gonna name this Mayasaura then, and we're gonna name you Manuel. Manuel, that one, ooh, Manuel, and that one is suggested by Manuel Melo. Thank you so much for your name suggestion. I hope you like this Mayasaurus called Manuel. And you know what we're gonna do since we have Madre, and we can't call that one Snow White. We can call the other one Chocolate. I just really feel like I want to call that one Chocolate. I don't know what it is. Okay, let's have a look. Where there she is. Okay, chop, uh, chop, let. I what you were you the brown one? Now I'm confused. I can't really tell. Oh well, I named you Chocolate now, so so y you will live in our park and be named Chocolate if you like it or not. <laughs> Um, we're gonna call a Brachiosaurus uh, Sandy and that one is mentioned by Shane Waters. Thank you so much for your suggestion. So this Brachiosaurus will be called Sandy and I think wasn't it me that said in the previous episode it's like a sand color so it makes total sense right? Sandy welcome to our park. Awesome. Thank you so much Shane Waters. And we're gonna name the last Gallimimus, and uh, let's see, that's this one, uh, Gallia, and that one is named by, and I hope I pronounced that right, Laercio Barros Tavares. Oh, I hope I pronounced that right. So thank you so much for your name suggestion, Gallia. So that will be this Gallimimus. 
Which is cute. Not well, not super cute, but I like it. Yeah, I like the colors definitely. I'm not sure if no, it's not my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, look at that view, guys. This is just awesome. I really like what we did with the terraforming. Yeah. And Susanna does too. <laughs> oh, I love that color so much. It's so amazing. Like, we should definitely do a series where we just have, like, one pattern dinosaur everywhere. So, what was that one again? The vivid pattern or the jungle? What was it? Let's have a look. So then we could pick the wetland pattern for all the dinosaurs. That would be so cool. Um, okay, so for this enclosure, we can add more dinosaurs. And we're gonna add a... Mm, what shall we add? Let's add a Ankylosaurus. And we're gonna add you in a wetland pattern. Incubate, and we're gonna name this Ankylosaurus tank, and that one is suggested by Max Winters. Thank you so much. And what we're also going to do, and we're gonna wait for that, we're gonna make a T Rex enclosure. And I'm just thinking, like, where shall we make that? Shall we first build a food corner right over here? I feel like we should do that. I really feel like we should do that. And how are we going to do that? First things first, I want to do this path a little bit over again because it's just not good enough. And we're gonna have a nice circle, hopefully, at least a little bit better. And what I'm thinking is to create a path section straight. And uh, we're going straight to, wait, we can use the bigger one instead. And we're gonna have you straight to here. And then we're gonna have a yeah, we're gonna snap it and we're gonna fill this up. Is that possible? Yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna fill that little gap. And we're gonna fill you right over here. Okay, so that one is filled and we're gonna add some shops just two maybe three depending on how many will fit um okay wait we do need to make it a little bit more smoother right over here like that we will tweak this later on but first things first Okay, let's have a gift shop. Can we add you now? Oh, why is there like that little gap on the left side? It's so frustrating. I don't want you. I don't want that. Um, okay, well, we, we can maybe just fill it up if we just place it a little bit further, right? I don't know if that's even possible, but we're gonna try. Okay, we're gonna add a fast food and we're gonna add a gift shop right next to it and i think that's the only only thing we can do okay so if we leave some space can we then fit in a path section in the middle which will fill it up not really okay so let's delete the gift shop and let's first place this path section and can we then connect a section right over here going straight can we now delete that little end section is that even possible 
There you go. Okay, so now let's see if we can fill this. Maybe a little, little bit. Oh, there's that little gap. Maybe we can try to do it from the other side. Ooh, I thought it would just fill it up, but... Uh... Okay, there's just a little, little hole, but we're not going to look at it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add an arcade. No, we're gonna add the gift shop. We're gonna add the gift shop right next to it. So they can have food, drinks, and stuff to buy. And now the question is, can we also add another one right over there? Ooh, perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna add a fence. And we're gonna add the light steel fence. Going straight to here. Straight to there. And can we go straight? Oh no. Wait. Okay, it's not perfectly straight, but you can't really tell. We, we didn't see that. Did you? No, we didn't. <laughs> okay. Um, what shall we do with that section? I wonder. Let's just leave that for now, but I really... Okay, wait, I have an idea. We're gonna add trees! And we're gonna add trees right over here. We're still gonna do the terraforming on that section. But, I think I wanna build an enclosure over here for the T-Rex. And we're gonna leave this one open. We're gonna have a big enclosure on this section, I think. To have a big herbivore enclosure. But right over here, we're gonna add a T-Rex enclosure. And now we have to be smart by, while we draw it, I think, to make it look nice and pretty. Okay, so if I add the fence right over there, maybe it's a good idea to start building this gallery right over here. So we know how to connect it. Okay, let's see, how can we connect you nice and smoothly? We can go Great, or we can go... I'm not sure. Okay, let me just delete that one. And then we can go... And bend. And then go straight. I think that's pretty straight. Yeah. Okay, and then we can bend a little bit along to here. Um, or shall we go right up? I wonder. Okay, what is... Yeah, I think we're gonna go up. So we're gonna... Then you, since we want this to be organic, okay, and we're going right over here, and then go along with the borders of the park. Now, I have the feeling I want to go further from here. And we're gonna bend you 
Give it a nice little shape. Like that, all the way to the borders. Around it and just follow the borders and we're gonna hide it as always with lots of trees okay so let's grab some trees I know t-rex doesn't like trees but hey I do too bad for you t-rex okay so we hide that away and we're even gonna have trees all along over here And we fill this up a little bit. And now we do need to make a nice environment for our T-Rex. And we're gonna add, oh gosh, okay. Since it's only gonna be one T-Rex, I will use this Hammond Creation Lab instead. Okay, T-Rex, we're gonna incubate you. T-Rex, and we're gonna have the alpine color because that is one of my favorites i think of the t-rex so we're gonna incubate you and we're going to release the ankylosaurus and the ankylosaurus will be named tank from max winters thank you again so much for your name suggestion and also the ankylosaurus <laughs> oh, i want to turn you because it's in the shadows I don't like shadows. Okay, come on. There you are. Hello, Tank. Welcome to your new enclosure. You are adorable. I really like it. Okay, our T-Rex failed to hatch. It's raining. Do you like rain, Tank? Do you? Or don't you? What was that sound? That's so cute. Ah, oh, now I see Tank drinking water and all I'm thinking is, oh my god, I really wish we will get like more, well, water dinosaurs, like the swimming dinosaurs, a DLC or flying dinosaurs that would be so amazing i honestly have no idea if that's even the plan on frontier but oh gosh they will make me so happy if we get like real water dinosaurs oh, would you guys like that too let me know in the comment section because oh it, it really looks so amazing okay <laughs> uh, reaction speed we're gonna add a success rate here and we're gonna add another success rate here and we're gonna have okay one reaction speed right over here and then we're gonna incubate another t-rex incubate there you go so hopefully it doesn't take too long okay so t-rex enclosure it's not perfectly filled i have to admit but what if before we do the terrain forming, we add a gyrosphere. Now, I'm actually not so sure if we can add it, not in this section, so we, we should add it over here, right? Those poor people <laughs> going in a gyrosphere in the T Rex enclosure. Now, that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna go like that all the way to the back just have a nice shape and hopefully we can connect it there you go perfect okay so now we're gonna do the terrain foaming and I want to start with some water again I like we did in season one you could like as you can see it's almost like a bridge it's it's not really a bridge but it's almost like a bridge so what if we add water over here water over there and then we're gonna make it nice because it's too straight uh, let's add a little bit more over here delete delete like that and 
Ooh, too much. We did make it not too perfect, right? And maybe we can add a little bit more over here. So more like a pond. Okay, I think that could work. Let's go and raise some terrain over here. Now, this is the highest point, so it's not like we can have like a volcano, but we can have the idea of it. I don't know, it's it's too low to be a volcano. That's such a pity. Can we raise the terrain? Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, so let's make it more interesting then. Now, it should not be too straight because then the gearosphere would like... I don't know. It would not feel very natural, does it? Okay, so we're gonna smooth this path section of the gearosphere. Smooth a little bit. Okay, it needs to be higher just to see the difference. And maybe this section could be higher too. Maybe something like that. And then we're gonna raise it right over here a little bit more. Oh yeah, we need to go down somewhere too. So let's add this corner. And let's make this corner a little bit lower than the rest. To add some variation. Okay, it's okay. It feels natural. Okay, smooth it over here. And yeah, okay, let's add some green to make it look more natural. Okay, and we're gonna add some trees. Not too many because T Rex doesn't really like t trees. But I do. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add one over here. And one there. And we're gonna add one or two. Or oh, just some bushes. No, oh, that's too many bushes. Okay, let's add a tree. Boom. How is this looking from the viewing gallery? Let's have a look. Okay, that's pretty plain right now. Well, that is looking quite nice. Okay, so we, we do have to do something in, in this section because it's too plain. So maybe we can add... Is it possible to squeeze in just one tree somewhere? Oh, that's too many trees. Okay, that's two trees. And maybe just one one right over there okay let's have another look and we're gonna ride the gear sphere obviously too when t-rex is in how are you doing right now oh you're already ready to be released that's amazing oh 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 oh, oh. yeah scream scream for me one, two. <laughs> I love it, but then again, I hate it. You're disgusting. Ugh. But ah, oh, you're also so awesome. Okay, let's tranquilize you, and we're gonna put you in your enclosure. Okay. Um, what? Oh yeah, we need to connect this one to our path system. So we're gonna add a nice little curve right over here. And obviously you're gonna delete my awesome trees. Okay, there you go. Let's fill this up. Okay, I think that's better. 
Okay, so we have... Yeah, I like that. I like this to be a little bit more dense. And then you walk to the gear sphere. And then you can ride it. Ooh. Oh, wait. We could add other carnivores in the T-Rex enclosure. If I remember correctly, we did that in season one, right? Oh, that's going to be amazing. Okay, so that will be up to you guys. Uh, Deinonychus or the... What was it again? Oh, gosh. I keep forgetting those names. Okay, let's check. It was the Deinonychus or the Dilophosaurus, was it? Um, Deinonychus or the Dilophosaurus. It's up to you guys. Just let me know which one of these, and obviously some names, uh, we're gonna add to the T-Rex enclosure because we don't have to leave T-Rex all by itself. So we're gonna add a carnivore feeder. And we're gonna add a carnivore feeder. Hmm. Where should we place that one? Right in front of the viewing gallery? Yeah, let's do that. Let's make it exciting for our guests. And then we're gonna have a light bait feeder over here because that the goats are gonna run around anyway. So that's totally fine. Okay, we're gonna move T-Rexy to Asset collection request its new enclosure. Awesome, look at that. I like this view, that is awesome. Ah, oh, the lighting in this game is also really gorgeous. Like that shimmering of the sun. And as I said in the previous episode, like that volcano is just oh, brilliant. I love it. I'm not really sure if T-Rex will love his enclosure, but hey, I don't mind. <laughs> as long as we like it. And uh, let's have a look. Where is T-Rex right now? Okay, T-Rex is in this sky. So we're gonna wait and see. T-Rex incoming! We didn't name her yet, did we? No, we didn't. So, who is going to be the T-Rex? Well... That is going to be Titanium from Titanium. And, uh, oh, there you are. <gasps> okay, there you are, little Titanium. There we go, Titanium. With double M. Titanium. Awesome, welcome to our park, T Rexy. Hope you will like it here. Have a drink. We're gonna try the gear sphere, guys. God, you're gorgeous and ugly at the same time. <laughs> Can we just click that one and then drive it? No, we can't. Okay, drive. So we're gonna drive wide towards Rexy Titanium. Is she gonna respond to the gearosphere? No idea. Ooh. Wait, can we also, yeah, switch camera, that's right. Titanium. I would never in real life do this, if this was real life. I would never do this. <laughs> I would be pooping my pants for real. Like, you got to be kidding me. That is just so freaky. Would you do that? Would you? If this was like Jurassic Park and you would have the option <laughs> to uh, drive the gear sphere in a T-Rex enclosure like we are doing right now, would you do that? I will really be pooping my pants. Even though 
nothing happens, but you never know, right? Can't trust a T-Rex. <laughs> following you, Titanium! I don't think she likes it. I definitely don't think she likes it. She's just running away. I'm running away. <laughs> In circles. Oh, it makes me nauseous. Stop running in circles. Okay, I will stop following you then. Awesome, guys. This is so cool. Okay, let me know in the comment section if you want me to add a Deinonychus or Dilophosaurus to this enclosure. Let me know what you think, obviously, of this enclosure. And please keep giving me names because I will just keep my list and it's going to be awesome. I really want this to be some kind of community park because it's just amazing that we all love this game so much and we have fun with it. So... I really look forward to reading your comments as always and I really hope to see you guys in the next episode and don't forget to like the video if you do of course and subscribe if you already haven't. My name is The Lady Designer and you can also follow my The Lady Gamer channel if you want to see me play Overwatch or ARK Survival Involved. We're definitely gonna play the new DLC in November so make sure to check it out if you are also an ARK lover and dinosaur lover. And we also play some Frostpunk, also really awesome game. So if you want to see more of that, please go and check out The Lady Gamer. And The Lady NL is also one of my channels, and that is my Dutch channel. If you are Dutch, you can see my gameplay in Dutch over there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope, wherever you are, to see you in a next episode. Bye, guys.